Hello, my name is Leo. Welcome to a new day of Elder Scrolls Arena. It is 4.03 in the afternoon on the 15th of Earthfire, so today's going to be a slightly smaller episode. Hey, babe, what's up? Mm hmm. That's cool. What you got on the rumor mill? Oh. Right, well, before we get really started, I got some blogging to do because um, last night. I finally watched Pacific Rim. I know, I know, it's been out for like, what, since the 12th of July? But, well, in Japan, it, it actually only recently just came out last week, so, um, because I'm in Japan at the moment, I wasn't able to, um, you know, watch it. Um, so, but now I was able to watch it with Japanese subtitles, because I needed that. I'm glad that the Japanese sections had, um, had the English subtitles that the real version is. Although actually, now, I'm not going to spoil the movie at all, because if you haven't seen it, I certainly don't want to spoil it to you. Pacific Rim is a great movie, and you have to go see it. It is the epitome of the kaiju movie. Um, and although uh, director, what, whatever his name is, Del Toro said, that he didn't he didn't want any of the the Jaegers or the big robots to to be similar to any other robot. Man, Gypsy Daisy looks eerily similar to Evangelion. Uh, well, in particular Evangelion Unit One. It's just not even funny. The only thing that would have made it different is if the Jaeger had those big ass shoulder plaids that the Evangelians had and was a more like solid purple and green colour. I mean, it's got the g giant glory thing in the middle, which is what Evangelion had when. Uh, well, spoils for Evangelion. <laughs> um, after Ava Unit 1 swallowed the S2 organ or engine or whatever. This is the original series, of course. Um, uh, the, the, yeah, there's the, the, uh, ejector pods that are very similar to the ejection, the, uh, entry plugs. There's the whole, well, the head coming down is a little bit different, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very similar, but that's, that's fine. That's, I don't have a problem with that. Um, because there's one thing I'd love more in this world, it's a, a, a live-action Evangelion movie that was actually good, and guess what? This movie is fucking awesome! Uh, what time is it? It's getting there. Um, it's a real, you know, it's a real disappointment, though, about this movie? Is this. Let's have a look at some stats, right? Pacific Rim, okay? As of the 14th of July, which, of course, this is some old news, uh, the film had grossed 38.3 million US dollars. That's an estimate, right? At the same time, 14th of July, Grown Ups 2 had grossed 42.5 million. What the fuck, people? Come on! Seriously? Apparently, Adam Sandler sells more tickets. Then frickin' Kaiju. This is ridiculous. Um, yeah. I liked that, um, like, basically the strongest, ignoring Gypsy Danger, although the, the only reason why it was awesome is because, well, Makamori, really. Um, the, um, the strongest of the Jaegers, just based on Jaegers alone, not on pilots, is the Australian, yeah! Although it's quite a shame that, um, again, Sydney Harbour got owned by, um, by a Jaeger. Oh, now I'm getting the spoilers. Well, not really, but yes. But yeah, the Austra there's this, what, there's the Australians got a robot, the Chinese got a robot, a three armed robot, the, the Russians have a robot, the, what is it, Chernov Alpha, Chernov Alpha. Uh, it's actually a pretty interesting looking robot. Uh, then obviously the Americans have one, the Japanese have one, um, who else has one? Somebody else has one, but I can't remember. It's a shame that the, like, a lot of the other robots don't have a lot of, like, airtime. It's really just Gypsy Danger, because of course it's the American one, and we love America. Which is interesting, because, um, well, Makomori isn't, isn't. American, she's Japanese, but anyway. 
Um, Makamori, uh, the the little the girl who played um, the young Makamori is a pretty good actress. I I was actually um, watching an interview of her because obviously in Japan you watch Japanese TV and you see a lot of Japanese actresses, and um, it's quite funny. She's actually quite a skilled, talented actress. Um, well, oh, actually, yeah, there's one interesting thing. Now, I was warned this before I went and saw the movie. Uh, although, I was told that there were two lines in the movie that are in Japanese audio without subtitles. Um, unless I missed one, I could only find one. Um, and I'm not going to... Not going to spoil anything, but you know, if you've seen the movie, you've watched it a couple of times, you know the line that I'm talking about because Makamori says it, but there's no subtitles, and it's like, well, what the hell did she say? I knew, I knew that this was coming, and in case I had my Japanese waifu with me, and I was like, in case there's a line that's not subtitled, I'm just going to quietly lean over to you, and you're going to translate it for me. When she said the line, I knew exactly what she said because I have a somewhat basic grasp on Japanese. So, without spoiling it too much, she says, uh, Sensei Aishitemasu, which basically means, uh, Teacher, I love you. So, if you didn't know what she says in that particular line, that's what she says. Hopefully I didn't spoil anything any too much, if you haven't seen the movie. Well, it, it doesn't really, but what time is it now? It's 5.20. It's getting night time. Pacific Rim, um, it's a shame that, um, my local supermarket, my local, uh, shopping centre, uh, well, actually, there isn't a, a cinema, like, anywhere near, uh, our house, so we had to drive for about 40 to 50 minutes to get to a, um, uh, a shopping centre that actually has a, um, a cinema, um, And, of course, the waifu wanted popcorn, which I was relieved to find out that it didn't cost an arm and leg for a friggin' bucket of popcorn. Amazing. Uh, Coke was fair. Well, Coke was actually pretty cheap, too, but we just went down to the local supermarket and bought a bottle of Coke and smuggled that in because they were, oh, you're not allowed to bring your own drinks. I'm like, fuck that. They want to search my bags, or to show them a bottle of water, and they'll be like, "You can't bring that." I'm like, "The hell I can't! If I die of dehydration while watching your movie, you'll be in the shit. So you'll let me drink this bottle of water." And then they'll just go, "Oh, okay, fair enough," and won't, won't even notice the fact that there's a bottle of coke in there. <laughs> um, but that uh, Pacific Rim, oh man, I just, I can't say, like, I can't voice how like, awesome the movie is without starting to spoil it, so I'm not going to, but it is just a great movie, um, even the waifu liked it, which was amazing, because she, she came into the theatre thinking, oh my god, a kaiju movie, really, Leo, come on, kaiju, she wanted to go see the new, um, uh, the new Hao Miyazaki movie, the, the new Ghibli movie, which is called Ooh, what the hell? Oh, it's night time now. Okay, be careful because bad things will happen. You might want to save the game. Just to be on the safe side. Where am I up to? Here. Just save the game. 50... 50? Just 15. Dash 1. There we go. Um, yeah, she wanted to go see that movie, which we'll probably go see maybe in a couple of weeks. Uh, which is probably going to suck for me, because, well, here's the thing about Pacific Rim, here's the thing about Western movies in Japan. When the movie first comes out, like, it's, it has been a month, it was a month after, you know, it was released in the West, that it was released in Japan. That was so that they could do subtitles for it. But when Western movies are first released, um, they're released in the cinemas in with English dialogue and Japanese subtitles, which was great for me, um, because I could watch it and actually understand what the hell's going on without a stupid Japanese dub. Although, I've always said that, you know, Japanese movies, anime, games, the like, are always better in Japanese, because it's in their original format. The same applies the other way around. If a Hollywood movie's out, I don't particularly want to see it in a Japanese dub. I want to see it in its original form, because sometimes even the Japanese voice actors can screw up doing dubs. Um, do we even know where the 
tavern is? Well, here's a tavern. Will this suffice? I guess. It's getting really dark. Can we go somewhere where there's light? Yeah. <laughs> Can we also get our, our... I was about to say get our guns out. But this isn't Pacific Rim. Oh, rats! Rats, 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 rats. Rats, 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 rats. Rats, rats, rats. Awesome! I leveled up! Alright. I'm gonna put... Uh, I want more strength, eh? You can never have too much strength. But you can also never have too much endurance. Endurance? Is that what you want? Well, what else would you want? Willpower? No, man, I want endurance. Done! But, what happened there? You press D. How did... What? I don't know. Do rats ever even have gold? I don't think so, no. Do I have any, like, stuff that I need to sell? Oh, I got a tower shield. Oh. Didn't even know I had... I've also got a longsword. Oh, didn't even know I had that. Fair enough. By the way, you were supposed to go visit the king. Because you failed the mission, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, guess what? Stupid Marble Dabby's not going to come out and chase me anymore. Well, we hope. We can only hope, my friend. We can only hope. Yeah, so it's, um... But, but of course, like, Japanese movies, uh, anime or, you know... Or even, actually, uh, Monsters University is in Japanese voice as well. So they're all in Japanese voice, which kind of sucks. Um, with no English subtitles, so I don't really know what's going on. Um, but, I mean, I still want to go see it. Um... It looks like a good movie. I mean, Miyazaki... I mean, Ghibli movies are always pretty good. Hey, Cutthroat, what's up? Who are you? <laughs> nice. I got a Chase Grove. Hey, we're back in Chase Grove again. You do remember. Oh, yeah, right. Where are the city gates? I don't know. You tell me. Is Chase Grove more or less safe than the, the last city I was in? What do you view? I think it's more safe. Yeah. Where are we going? We're going north. It's the right way. I don't know. Just hug the wall until you find the city gates. I, I dare say it all will be closed up now. You're probably right. What time is it, by the way? It's exciting. Um. So there's not much, not really much for us to say apart from the fact that if you haven't seen Pacific Rim, you need to go out there and freaking see it. I didn't go see it in 3D. Apparently, it actually, even though it's a post-production 3D movie, uh, it, it's actually done well. Uh, people have told me that uh, I should just really go see it in IMAX. Uh, I can't really do that because I don't have an IMAX theatre anywhere near me. Um, but, you know, I guess if you have that option. I've heard of something called D-Box, which is like an IMAX theatre where the seats sort of like gyrate like, they're synchronized to the action. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Wolves freak the hell out of me every single time. Fuck. Anyway, where were we? Um, uh, yeah, D-Box. The, basically, the, the seat, like, moves and shifts. So, like, if you're in a Jaeger, it'll, like, shift in time with the Jaeger. I guess if it's, like... Well, uh, what they... The person I was listening to was describing it as like say Fast and the Furious as the car turns and that's closed as the car turns y your chair will also like lean to that direction that sounds pretty cool kind of like 4D in a way um Hideo Kojima actually um critiqued the movie uh, in a um in, in, a, in a couple of tweets saying that who are you if you are Japanese and you have not seen this movie? That pretty much sums it up because this movie is very like faithful to the the Japanese kaiju genre. It, it even has like the scene where um, Makamori meets uh, what's the guy's name Rayleigh for the first time, and, and she like sort of get, like give, takes one look at him and goes in Japanese. Uh, not quite what it's what I expected, and he and Riley goes in Japanese. Well, you're not quite what I expected. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Kill her! Kill! Kill the bitch! Kill the black one! Kill the black! Oh, jeez. Okay. 
Give me all your stuff. I'm gonna save the game now because I'm in trouble. Okay, now might be a time to go uh, sleep. Nah. I'll save the game, I'm good. Okay. Um, and, and this is basic, basically the meaning of that, of those lines is um, basically saying this is not like a like dumb western hack version of a kaiju. Got another one? Jesus. Oh god, this is in trouble. Oh, oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah, give me all your stuff, baby. Okay, I'm gonna save the game again. <laughs> this is not like a dumb western take on a kaiju movie. This is a serious movie made by a serious fan of the genre. This isn't friggin' the western version of Godzilla. Although apparently El Del Toro wants to make a um, a Godzilla cross Pacific Rim movie. Like an American Godzilla cross. Which, I don't know how I feel about that. I didn't really like the American Godzilla movie. I, I particularly like in one of the most... I don't think it's the most recent Godzilla movie anymore. Um, but it was a Godzilla movie, a fairly recent Godzilla movie called Final Wars. Which was like a huge mashup of all the old school, like, um, like, uh, enemies, all the old school kaiju from Godzilla movies. It also included um, the American Godzilla, uh, codenamed Zilla, which is not to be confused with the Jap Japanese Godzilla, was the main character or the main, you know, the main kaiju. Um, who's a good guy, but the aliens basically controlled all the other kaiju, and they're trying to you know, take over the world because they're douchebags. And they took they took over Zilla, and basically Zilla's uh, holding the fort in again. Sydney Harbour, poor Sydney Harbour gets a gets a beaten, and uh, Zilla basically charges Godzilla. Godzilla in one swift move, just atomic beams him, and just owns him into the Sydney Opera House and he's dead in like 10 seconds and that pretty much sums up how dumb Zilla is um just completely owned by the original uh what time is it 7.20 jeez time's actually gone pretty fast well time flies when you stand in the middle of the street and you know yammer on for hours it's true I've got to find an inn well here's an inn mm. I might just um chill out here well, we're in a new town, so we we haven't. You you were talking about going back to the Red Huntsman, weren't you? You were thinking about it, yeah. Well, the Red Huntsman is important. You view, dumbass. Not even it's not even in the city. That's true. So you're gonna have to buy a new town, a, a new thing anyway. Fair enough. Um. But yeah, um, Pacific Rim is a great game. Oh yeah, so uh, Hideo Kojima, you know, basically said, you know, if you're Japanese, who the hell are you? If you haven't looked at this movie. And I agree, it's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, I've said this already, but go see it. It deserves your patronage, because I think it costs like $100 million to make, and it's only made, well, as of July 14th, which is like a month ago, um, it's only made, it had only made, $36 million. I haven't checked how much it's made so far, but it needs to make more money, otherwise there will be no Pacific Rim 2. And Del Toro wants to make a Pacific Rim 2. And I want to see a Pacific Rim too. Oh, was that an enemy? Hello? Is there someone there? Oh! Yeah, I'm getting powerful. Well, that's what happens when you friggin... You know. Oh, I'm overcoming. Uh, what's worth more? Probably that kite shield. Can I pick it up? No. Hang on, I'll drop something. Could always leave his dead body there. Will his dead body stay there? Um. Well, let's find out. Save the game. Again. Well, he saved it as 13 instead of 15. Also, he saved the lows as 14 instead of 15. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, uh, what is it? 7? Yeah. 17. Great. Good job. Your numbering is terrible. Put your sword away. Put your sword away. Okay, well, 
I mean, that's the end of, that's the end of my Pacific, Pacific Rim rant. But yeah, seriously, support the movie because it needs it needs your support. Okay, first of all, let's get a room. A single, one night, ten gold, done. Okay, and we're gonna sleep. What time is it? Seven, so we'll sleep for eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, five hours. Sounds fine to me. But you just want to sleep all day. You just want to sleep until morning. Fuck it, let's sleep until morning. There we go, now it's 12.40 in the afternoon. There's nothing wrong with that. No, there isn't. Just, who cares? Oh no, I'm playing the game on the wrong day that I'm not supposed to be playing it as. Whatever, who gives a fuck? Just save the game. See that dead bodies though. Is it still there? Um, No, it despawned. Bugger. Now, alright, save the game one last time. 15-8. And save the game again, because you've got to save it up here as well. End of 15. There you go. Oh, end of 154. Five, Good. We'll just save it again. Jeez, seriously? Well, what's going on with this keyboard? I don't know, it's freaking me out. Alright, well guys, when we come back, uh, it'll be the f 16th of Pathfire, and we're going to sell some stuff, and we will finally um, see what the king has to say, or the, the lord of this area has to say about me failing my mission. But for now, my name is Leo, and I'll see you next time.